Um, position on the mandatory stop for the division. You know, at this moment, I cannot speak on this topic. Uh, we're dealing with this situation, and uh, whenever the WBC has this uh, resolved, we will make a public statement. I know you can't talk too much about uh, the Dinian White situation. Did the WBC ever consider creating Tyson Fury to franchise and then eventually upgrading interim champion Dinian White to full WBC champion? Ever talked about? I know that you, you will understand. I cannot talk about the division anything more than I just explained. You know, you understand that uh, be responsible if uh, if I would anticipate or try to assume, make assumptions. So I'd rather stay with the uh, happening. We have October 9, the Fury versus Wilder fight, and then we'll take it from there. Okay, then shortly there'll be an announcement after that fight is concluded. Yes, yeah, that, we're administering this situation, yes. Okay. Those are the words of <clears throat> Mauricio Suleiman. Shout out to Pep Talk UK with Pro Bees for conducting the interview with Mauricio Suleiman. And Mauricio, as you heard him say, he says that the Dillian White mandatory position will be resolved after the Fury versus Wilder fight. Okay. And <clears throat> that's how he said it. It took him forever to really go around to it. As you can see, he kind of well hey i can't talk too much with assumptions but we will make a decision after that fight so the only thing that he really said of importance in this interview concerning dillian white is it <clears throat> his situation will be resolved and my counterpunch to that is i feel that they're just buying time mauricio's trying to find out or trying to see who really comes out with that wbc belt OK, and I think depending on who comes out the winner, he can depend on what he will actually do. OK, as far as uh, Dillian White, because see, if it's Tyson Fury, if Tyson Fury ends up winning, this is how I see Mauricio's mind turning. I think he's going to push more for an undisputed uh heavyweight clash and that's depending on <clears throat> and by that time we will are he will we will all know if Joshua beats Usyk or Usyk Usyk beats Joshua but if Joshua beats Usyk then Mauricio I think will be more geared to that to that particular fight rather than um have white fight as a mandatory to clutter that all up okay that's what I'm thinking but I uh, but again if they're in legal action, I think something has to give with uh, Dillian White and whoever the winner is of the WBC because, again, he's been waiting a long time, and it's about time that he finally took some legal action, okay? So I think that was a good idea, like I said in the video when I heard about it. Now, if it's uh, Wilder that wins, though, I think then he would probably consider more of a you, a mandatory fight between Dillian White and Deontay Wilder simply because Deontay Wilder and Anthony Joshua, I don't really see them getting together right now to make that type of fight. Regardless of who you blame or whatever, it's just people on both sides of their teams hate each other. Okay? And depending on what platform it's going to be on, they'll probably want it to be on... Uh, you know, Matchroom, of course, would want it to be on the zone, which that won't happen. That fight, <clears throat> that fight looks like it's more difficult to, to go down than the Tyson Fury Joshua. Because we've already got the blueprint, we've already got the investors, and we already got the, the uh, venue. Okay, so I see Fury Joshua happening before Joshua Wilder. Okay, and then the you know Wilder's already negative to the idea of fighting Joshua, because um, he's already gone out and said that Joshua's making excuses, which there was no excuses given. So I think there's a little bias. I think there's a little vested interest in that fight not happening for whatever reason. Okay, I don't see that fight happening. So I think Mauricio Suleiman is trying to see who wins that fight. Then he'll know what to do with Dillian White. But again, 
Dillian White's best interest really is if Deontay Wilder beats Tyson Fury. Because, see, if he beats Tyson Fury, then Tyson Fury, that stock of uh, Fury Joshua just goes away. It just goes away. Okay, because there's no WBC champion. There's no UK champion. Deontay Wilder has retained the WBC. Things go back to the way they were in, back in 2019, right? Where Anthony Joshua's the unified. Deontay Wilder's the, uh, the regular WBC or the super uh, WBC champion, heavyweight champion. And I think both sides will be happy, including Mauricio, because the big fight is over. See, everybody's looking for Fury Joshua for a lot of reasons. I mean, a lot of reasons. For one, it would sell like the Dickens. For two, they're two British guys, and they're both British champions. For three, the amount of money that it could generate, man, it's just it, it's just sick. And Mauricio would they, he wouldn't care anything about what Dillian White wants at this point. He's already been waiting. Let him wait for after that. So what he would probably do with Dillian White, hey, you get the winner out of the undisputed fight. That's how he would sell that, or, or, or how, that's how he would spend that you know, on Dillian White. But if Deontay Wilder again wins, I think it's safe to say he will then put into action like, hey, that's the fight that we need to make since Dillian White's making his debut in uh, the U.S. anyway. I think that would be the bi a big fight in the U.S. that could go down. That's if Deontay Wilder beats Tyson the Gypsy King Fury. And again, like I said, the only danger of, of Wilder, though, cooperating with that. But I think he's going to have to because... Even if he got his belt back in 2020, he did. He oh, he finished his mandatory in 2019. <clears throat> now he would have another one after that with Dillian White. So I think that's the biggest fight that he can be made based on uh, the success of Deontay Wilder winning. And if Tyson Fury wins, boom, he's going to definitely go for that Anthony Joshua fight, and Dillian White would have to wait. And then it's up to Dillian White if he wants to further go into legal action with getting uh, his justice with the WBC. But anyway, you guys tell me what you think of Mauricio Suleiman saying that Dillian White mandatory position will be resolved after the uh, <clears throat> Wilder Fury fight. Tell me what you think. Please subscribe. And you guys been counterpunched. Peace.